Now I'm often asked, when do you start to cut back perennials when they finish flowering at the end of the summer or in early autumn? Um, and it really depends on you. Some people cut them back really early, cut them down to ground level. Some people leave them over winter and then tidy them up in the spring when they've completely died down. And you can do basically what you want. What I tend to do um, is to avoid having all the work to do in one go. Anything that is completely finished and hasn't got any decorative value at this time of the year I'll give it a tidy up so things like this uh, phlox here it's finished flowering it's not going to flower again so what I will probably do with this is using my secateurs is just to reduce it by half just chop it down as we go by about half and that just instantly tidies it up a little bit and then what will happen is that will die down over the winter all the goodness will go back down into the roots and then next spring when we work the way through the borders we'll take it down to ground level to encourage that new growth so i'm just going to throw that onto the lawn but other things i leave over the winter and this is a good example this is a, a flow mist which has lovely yellow flowers and it has them in whirls up the stem now this i won't cut down at this time of the year simply because i think it's got quite a lot of decorative value in the border over winter it adds some structure plus it's full of seeds in there and the birds will feed on those so it's really good to keep in the garden not only for wildlife but it looks good as well and other things like a strantia heads I will leave so anything with a decorative seed head is left anything that's not I'll just tidy it up so I can gradually work my way through the border that way but I think they look really good when they're covered in frost and cobwebs in the winter so they're definitely staying.